Oh my gosh, I look wide. <laughs> I look large. I look large and in charge. Um, hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just wrapped filming another one, so hopefully I still have a voice. Also, I might regret filming this on a day where I, I'm not gonna say this word for monetization reasons, but I messed around and found out. I've been trying to experiment not taking my nausea meds to see if like, oh, maybe I'm like past it. Maybe I won't be nauseous anymore. I'm still nauseous. I'm still very nauseous. So um, I'm filming this on a day where I didn't take my nausea meds a day before. So I'm feeling so crappy today and I am just like randomly like dry heaving. Um, so I'm just gonna try and power through it and hopefully what I'm doing today will distract me from how crappy I'm feeling. But I was gonna save this for spring. I was like, ooh, this will be a fun, like big spring repot. And then I was like, wait, I'm gonna be so close. Oh, I'm gonna be in my third trimester basically in the spring. And I just can't imagine myself <laughs> repotting this huge plant with a bowling ball or watermelon strapped to my belly. So we're doing this today. Um, if you did not watch my week of that went up in January, then you wouldn't have known that I acquired a new plant and you can see her behind me. So my sweet friend, Jesse, he answered my call, not a literal call, but I posted on my story one day that I had been kind of thinking about getting a philodendron splendid again and I wanted to give it another try because I don't know it's just I, I love this hybrid so much and I just hadn't had good luck with it in the past but I wanted to try again and he's like look I've got this splendid that needs a new home and it just it just felt like destiny so um, he sent me home with her but it was on a day on one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> the day of the unexpected freak snowstorm that um, Vancouver got where I it took me hours and hours and hours to get home from North Shore. So it was a very, very cold day that day. I don't remember how cold it is, but it was snowing, it was in the negatives. This thing was hauled out in the snow three times and it was being loaded into the car, it was being chucked in the car, it was rolling around, and it looked fine when I first brought it home, um, and it was okay for like maybe a couple days after. And then um, I noticed after about a week, some of the battle scars from that day started to appear. So we've got like rips and tears and yellowing, and like you can see where things got like really cold and ripped and bent and, it's just looking a little bit crazy right now. And I was just gonna leave this as it is. Like, look at how big and beautiful this leaf is. Oh my gosh, I just freaking love the Splendid so much. It's such a good, it's such a good plant. So I was gonna leave this into the spring to kind of let it do its thing, let it acclimate to my house. But again, it's just, I think that it's time. I do want to downsize this thing a bit because it is super tall. It's on the world's largest lazy pole you have ever seen your entire life. This thing probably has like a six inch diameter. It's massive. I can see that it's pretty heavily rooted into this pole, which is great for chopping reasons. There's about, I wanna say at least four plants on this thing, or at least four different growth points. So what I wanna do today is essentially just chop the tops off. Hopefully I'll have enough roots to just replant it into a new vessel and I can kind of start over again with something that's a little shorter on a new pole and yeah, the rest of the nodes will be propagated. I am just feeling a little bit nervous about the repot, mostly because I'm scared it's gonna go into shock or it might rot or something, or I'm just gonna break off all these roots, I'm gonna damage the leaves, but I just, it just feels right. I feel like I just need a good, clean start. I hope you guys understand the goal here what i'm trying to do but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting time just because this thing is a monster 
and as much as I am not wanting to undo Jessie's hard work with this pole, she's clear like she's outgrowing it. The nodes are at the very top now, so I would have to do something anyway. And I don't know how easy it would be to just stack one of my poles on here without it looking crazy. So this just feels right. Some of these roots look really old. I'm hoping that they're still viable and they're just kind of oxidized to a dark color, but we won't really know until we get in here. So probably um, where I wanna start. <laughs> I'm feeling overwhelmed, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I think every square foot of this plant room is gonna be covered in moss by the time this thing is done. But we've gotta do what we've gotta do, so um, let's just get started. Move, move, move. Okay, I don't know if there's even a purpose or a point of putting down this mat, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hopefully you guys can hear me because my mic is face downward. But I'm just gonna put it down no matter what. And um, everything's gonna end up on the ground anyway, but you know, good intentions. Oh gosh, and let's see how long I'm gonna last on the floor for. Uh, okay, so I need to empty this substrate. I'm gonna put a mask on because it's probably gonna be dry. I don't know if this pot is gonna <laughs> fit in here. But I'm gonna try, okay. Down you go. Take my mushroom out. Oh. It's actually not as heavy as it looks, but it's just a very awkward size. I can get most of the soil in here, that would be awesome. I am expecting some leaf damage, but it's the price we pay to repot these big plants on our own. And I'm too stubborn to ask Vince to help me. Okay, I can't bend like that. <sighs> roots, roots, roots. I guess I don't really have to untangle it right now since I'm going to be chopping anyway. But I would like to get as much soil off, I guess, as possible. I think this is where disaster is going to strike in terms of mess because now I have water in the picture. So the plan is to wet the moss so that I can untangle it. Um, I need to free up these straps. gonna get really muddy down here because there's still leftover soil but it's gonna be so hard to separate it if this is dry <laughs> I'm regretting everything right now you guys I regret it all what have I gotten myself into I'm just gonna time lapse this whole thing because I'm gonna be here all freaking day.
guys I think I might have to take this to my bathroom and just wash this whole moss pole down because it's like it's a brick it's a freaking brick and I don't think that me just wetting it is going to is going to loosen it but oh my gosh I'm going to be picking moss out of my drain for for months and if you're wondering why I'm not just like chopping the top off it's because I want as many roots as possible that are going down this pole that are in that top cutting I don't want to lose I don't want to lose those roots and I'm hoping that I can keep them but I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the size of this thing and I just feel like it would probably be better if I, sh if I just put this in the shower and got the, the pole really wet. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it soak for maybe an hour and I'll be right back. That was a lot and I hope it was all worth it. If I am not able to save roots on this plant, then this will all have been for nothing. I also just shoveled so many hot Cheetos, like a bag of hot Cheetos into my mouth and now I can't bend over because my stomach like doubles in size after I get any kind of food into my body. So that's good. <laughs> But hopefully I'll have a better time untangling this giant moss ball. All right guys, we are untangled. There are three main stems that I'm working with and I am so excited to chop. I am ready to get this thing a lot smaller, but I need to get rid of all of this moss. And I am excited to jump in the shower after this. I have moss everywhere. I'm just glad that this is moss and not soil, to be honest. So it was, it was definitely worth it to untangle because you guys can see I've managed to save some roots up at the top, whereas a lot of these would have been just chopped off if I cut the entire pole. I don't even know how I would have cut that pole though. I'm expecting a lot of leaf damage, honestly, on a lot of these upper leaves. That's not what I'm concerned about at this point. I just want to get it established on a new pole so that the new growth that comes out is nice and happy and healthy. But I'm just trying to figure out how low I want to go now. So I'm thinking I am going to still try and pot multiple on one pot, in one pot on one pole so that it looks bushy. But I don't know where to chop. I almost feel like... Maybe this is good, so I'll chop down here. This cutting for this guy. And then I will propagate these nodes. Second one is a lot bigger and I have two, three maybe. I have multiple growth points on this one. So I think I'm gonna go I'll chop down here. I can probably even go further because I know you guys can't see anything. I'll give you a better view in just a second. I'm just trying to get my, my cuttings here. Okay, I'm gonna chop one more. 
And then I'm gonna chop this leaf off so that I can bury this in the pot. I really hate seeing some of these nice big leaves go, but it's what has to happen, unfortunately. And then this last one also has multiple growth points. I might, oh my gosh, this one is, this one seems more wild for some reason. I think I'm gonna separate these, so I'm gonna cut this here because it's already kind of flailing off. Don't know if I'll add this to the pot or if I will sell it or something, but I'm just gonna see what I'm working with so far. And then chop here. Gosh, this one is so big. That's what she said. Actually, I'm gonna separate this. So go here. And then I'm gonna chop this leaf off. And then I'll pot just this guy. Actually, you know what, this one, this one I might do separately because it has, it's been chopped and now it's pushing out that growth point. So I'll leave that. So now I have three cuttings that I can work with. I'm just gonna try and untangle the moss roots or remove as much moss as possible before I get them repotted and get you guys a better angle. Um, I'm gonna chop off this leaf because it's really dinged up and ugly. Just don't really wanna look at it anymore. But I'm happy with the amount of roots that I have on this top cutting. I'm confident that it's going to transition to soil really well. I'm gonna add some myco and we're gonna get it nice and established. The next step is the pole. I think I might have to do two poles stacked on top of each other right away. I got this pole from a friend, so they're two stacked on top of each other. I'm just gonna zip tie them because it's kind of pushing in in the center. And I already have my mix that I'm gonna fill it with. And I almost feel like I should fill it now before putting it on. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna kind of do like a little X situation in the center so that it doesn't come apart. Okay, I wanna try, but I feel like the substrate is gonna fall out unless I pack it with moss down at the bottom. I could do that, but then it's so hard to fill poles when the plant is already on it. No, you know what, I think I'm gonna fill after. I'll probably regret it, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some Hugo's Amazing Tape. And I think I'm gonna start with the biggest one. I have one really large one here. I'm not worried about really getting these roots into the pole, I don't think but I kind of want to go a little lower if I can because I don't want it to outgrow this pole too fast. So some of these leaves are not facing the direction that they should be because of where they were in the living room. But um, I'm planning to put a light right in front of it so that they all face outward. So I've got this guy and then I don't know if I need two or three. I think two might be enough. Three might be an overkill, but I don't know if I wanna do this cutting or if I wanna do this smaller one. I almost feel like the smaller one kind of makes more sense. I think I'll do this smaller one. I think two plants should be enough for one pot to make it look nice and bushy. I'm planning to do this with my Glorious. Um, once I repot it, I'm just waiting for the moss pole that I'm gonna be using to come in. But I think I'll do that, okay. So the only thing with this one is it's not super rooted, but I think it'll root okay in soil. 
Ideally, I'd love to get all these roots into the substrate, but that's not gonna happen. But I can at least maybe try and cover it. I'll use Hugo's tape and then um, I might saran wrap it so that it stays nice and hydrated. I'm not really sure. But for now, let's just do this. Hopefully I can keep this clean because once it's dirty, it doesn't stick to itself anymore. I also don't know if you guys can even see anything at this angle. There is no way I would have been able to repot this thing if my belly was any bigger. Okay. So I think that's as low as I can go. I wish I could chop a little bit more, but that's not possible. Okay. I think this is good for now. Hopefully, hopefully it stays. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. So now we need to repot it. I cannot wait to get up off the floor. The joys, the joys. Okay, so I'm just gonna be connecting some Velcro tape here because I want to keep these together. And I think I'm even gonna use Velcro at the very bottom to make sure it's super, super secure onto this pole. Not that I don't trust Hugo's tape, but this is much more sturdy and industrial. Okay. Getting somewhere, but this was, this was a lot. Okay, I am gonna opt for a no drainage vessel. And I'm gonna go with this guy, which is the largest one that I have. A little bit comical for the size of this plant, but the root system that's actually in the substrate or in the pot is not that big in comparison. And again, I am gonna try and rely on this pole as an extension of my root or an extension of my my root system, yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of my favorite kind of LECA, so I have some of my old one, old ones that I'm gonna be using down at the bottom. Should have enough aeroid soil, hopefully. I'm mixing in a little bit of chopped up sphagnum moss just to give it something familiar. And I'm gonna be inoculating with great white today when I water it. I'm probably gonna have to use a bamboo pole to keep it secure since it's so tall, but I'll do that once the substrate is in the, the pole, which I'm not looking forward to having to do. So I actually think I can stick the pole in now since my soil is in. Just don't know what's gonna be long enough. Um, why are you leaning this way? Okay, please don't topple over while I go get you a stick. Please stay. Probably should have done this before because now I don't know how I'm gonna reach into <laughs> this thing. Oh gosh, I did not think this through. I probably don't even need the extension right away. To be honest, I could probably remove it <sighs> because now it's not, it's not even reaching the top of this first pole. It's got some time, so I'm gonna take it off and then I'll extend it later. Better for me, anywho. I know you can't see, but. 
gonna chop this zip tie off. Wow, feeling so much better about that. I'm gonna cut the tip at an angle so that it's easier to get in. That's what she said. Just gotta do it fast though, cause the whole thing will break. And that is what you want. Oh my gosh, the light is so bright. I've pre-mixed some of my substrate for my pole. And it's basically just tree fern fiber, chopped up moss, worm castings, and slow release fertilizer. I don't remember the last time I got this messy during a repot. Well, I'm not nauseous anymore. I forgot about nausea. This is what she looks like right now, looking kind of cuckoo and bananas because all of the leaves are facing kind of outward. But I'm hoping in maybe about two weeks, once I get the light facing directly in front of it, they're all gonna kind of find their way forward. Of course, if I added a third one in, it would have looked way more bushy and a little bit more symmetrical but I think three would have been an overkill for this pot size, honestly, and for this pole size. So I'm happy with it. I think once the new, new leaves come in, there's a growth point down here, there's one here, and there's one up here. I think it's gonna look a little bit more <laughs> like, a nice, like a nice plant again. Um, I'm honestly surprised this new leaf even survived that whole process, because that was, that was a lot, that was a lot. Um, okay, so we're gonna leave her be. I'm gonna, since I chopped it, I'm going to wait to water it in about maybe an hour or two. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding some great white to my water to make sure that it gets inoculated. But now we need to figure out what is happening with these cuttings. Where is my matcha? That's what I wanna know. Oh, I put it in the fridge, I was feeling I was feeling really nauseous earlier, like I told you, and whenever I'm nauseous, I can't drink anything like milky or anything with caffeine because it makes me even sicker. These are what I'm working with, and I've got one with a node, so I've got this guy, which is a mid-cut. I think I'm just going to chop this leaf off. And if I do propagate these stems, I'll let you guys know. But honestly, Lauren is selling like full splendid plants for like 10 bucks and they're not really moving. So I don't really don't know if it's worth investing the time and space into propagating them. So I'm gonna leave these for now, but if I do do anything with them, they're just gonna be chopped into, yeah, nodes, like I said, but I do think I'll make an exception. This one also will be noted. I think I would make an exception for this one because this is like a full plant. So I think I'll just pot this one up and then same with maybe this one because it has like a nice big caterpillar already but I think I'll chop this bottom off because it's a little bit of an overkill. So let's do the smaller one first. Oh my gosh, I think it's not gonna sink in how intense that was until I'm like showered and everything is cleaned and then I sit down and I'm like, what just happened? I felt like that after I repotted my yucca. When I turned the camera off, I like quickly cleaned up and then I sat on the couch and I was like, in a daze, I was like, how how did I get through that? But the only difference was when I repotted my yucca, I was not, how many months pregnant am I now? 
like almost five months pregnant. I don't know, I'm not good at math, guys. I just know that I'm in 23 weeks, whatever that is, how many weeks that is. I would say that I'll repot this into soil, but then I'd have to mix another soil batch and I really don't wanna have to do that. But again, I guess since I'm just selling these, I don't really have to do like my crazy aeroid mix. I can literally just do some of my soil for straight from the bin and some perlite. I don't really have to do the whole fur bark thing. Nothing fancy. Cause I always assume that when people buy plants, um, they're just gonna repot it into their mix anyway and into a new pot. I really don't wanna still stick this in moss, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna chop this bottom off cause it's kind of a lot. Do this, how does this leaf look? Eh, it looks, looks whatevs. I'll probably even throw in some of this moss in here. I'm gonna try and squeeze it into this little cup here. I know it's not ideal, but it's not like Lauren can ship plants in a glass vessel. I mean, this is a pretty solid plant to get you started if you've been wanting a more mature splendid. Like this caterpillar is already humongous. So I think after this plant, the only other big plant that needs a repot is my Thai. And that one is gonna be scary. I'm nervous for that one. I'm nervous for rotting. I'm nervous for transition. I'm just, we're stepping into the unknown. And that one's in pond. I don't know if I wanna keep it in pond. I'm gonna have to use like the rest of my pond stock just to get it into a larger vessel. But you know, we'll do what we have to do. She's a majestic beast and I don't want to upset her or anger her. <laughs> All right, so this one is done, ready to go, fully rooted. Um, I am gonna wait a little bit to water though. And then this second cutting, where are you, lad? I almost wanna chop these bottoms off because look at how ugly this leaf is. Okay, let's chop this bottom node off to clear up some space in the vessel. It's gonna be weird having this little guy. I mean, as much as I don't wanna chop it, I almost feel like it's not really serving its purpose. It's gonna dry out. Yeah, I'm gonna chop it. Sorry. Sorry, 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 don't cancel me, don't cancel me. I could probably use a stick to hold this up because this thing is gonna be the Leaning Tower Pisa, Pisa, Pisa. Do you guys wanna see me clean up? Is that a thing? <laughs> is that a thing? Um, although I am supposed to be starting my week up today, which is not happening because I am beat there is no effing way I'm gonna, I aimed for to do three videos today. So after this one, I would have filmed two. And I was like, well, I'll start my week of and I'll start it by cleaning up the mess that I made. I mean, I guess I could. <laughs> I need motivation. I need some pep talks. I need pre-workout. <laughs> Although I don't think pre-workout is advised during pregnancy. Okay, so this guy is sticking out, but I could build a, an extension. <sighs> Good, I've got some plastic here left over. Just gotta dig it out of the garbage bag. It's quite dirty, but you know, who doesn't like a little dirty? <laughs> no, I don't, just stop germs. Damn, I should have done this before I chopped those roots off. I should have just built a, a collar. How many of you are screaming at the screen? Saying, don't chop it, you moron. Build a collar, build a collar. Too little, too late. Okay, we could go like this. a little 
high. It's a little much. Okay, let's take it down a notch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And if you guys are not familiar with these collars or this plastic that I'm using, you can watch my lazy pole video. I feel like at least once a year, you gotta get really, really dirty, like soil everywhere, soil and moss in your hair. Once a year, get it out of your system. This is gonna be my one time this year and hopefully the rest of the year will be a lot cleaner and neater. And hopefully it was worth it. Hopefully this Splenda doesn't throw a complete tantrum and just unalive itself, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so we have this little dude that is ready to go to a new home, a little beat up, a little sad, but she'll come back. Have faith, have faith. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> gotten way too messy in this video this video is way too much for a wednesday upload but um yeah that's gonna be it i will keep you guys updated on the splendid in the next few weeks to come in terms of how it transitioned if the leaves kind of started facing forward if it's just looking better in general uh fingers crossed please pray to the plant gods for me i would be so sad if something happened to this splendid um but again i am keeping spirit high i am keeping hope alive i have faith and I'm optimistic, I'm optimistic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another video. Thank you guys for being here and keeping me company while I did this treacherous task. Um, if you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.